So I, I knew this one was going to be the last one on the album and a lot of the other songs were great and they're fully fleshed out ideas and everything but I just wanted this to be kind of a three minutes F you I can rap don't ever question me that kind of a thing because I just love that competition aspect and I also just love rapping so it was just about keeping it simple keeping it concise and just going in and executing. Drinking my hand scotch on the rocks in a Roosevelt when we in the Oval Office bet I'll have a story to tell told my dad this been a long time coming yeah this ain't a race but still I spent a long time running so once I had that feel in my head and I knew what I was going for I just hopped on the piano and I was playing around and I came upon this uh, chord progression of E flat minor 7 to D minor 7 to C minor 7 to C major 7 and what that C major 7 does in there it introduces an E which is not in the key of E flat minor and that makes it kind of sound regal and a little bit older because the dominant seven chords, that C major seven chord, tend to sound a little older in my opinion. And so that was exactly what I wanted. I wanted to sound regal, a little bit older, and uh, a you know a little bit vintage in, in the harmony. So once I had the chord progression down, I already knew as I was writing it that I wanted this to kind of sound brassy and big and powerful. But I didn't really like any of the brass samples that I had and I didn't want it to sound like real horns so I dialed up some synth brass and went to work. After that I knew this was just going to be simple. And, I, and that synth brass nailed it. It had exactly the feel that I wanted. It felt uh, modern, but also kind of old at the same time. And I just needed to hop on the machine and play in some drums. And so that's the, the main part of the beat. That's, that's almost everything that's in there. And I had that looped up for three minutes. And I liked it, but again, it was getting boring, and I always go back to that. It just kind of feels boring, you know, when you just listen to the same thing for three minutes. And I knew that I was going to be rapping over the whole thing, so there wasn't going to be any differentiation vocally. Sure, the flows would be different, and the phrasing would be different in different parts, but I wanted the music to kind of reflect the lyrics that I had. And I also wanted, this was the last song in the album, so I wanted it to all build up to this one pinnacle point. So I went back and I headed back to the piano, dialed up some more synths, and just added a different melody that complemented the way that the chords uh, were being voice led. So then I had basically the entire song done, the drums were in, I went back Add a couple of other extra fills there, added a couple little different sections in the beat. And then I had, there was a section that I made that I chopped up the beat uh, just in Pro Tools, you know, with the audio. And it was like a stop start part of the beat. And so I went back and I had these vocals that I used to kind of add as a different little instrument texture over that part. So this is what they started as. <laughs> Not much, but then I added all these effects on it and it was, uh, here, let me read them for you. There's a ton of them. Fuzzwa, Q10, which is an equalizer, H delay, which is a delay plugin, Redline Reverb, R Compressor, Lo-Fi, and then I have a duplicate on the other side, which is pitch shifted up, um, an octave, because it just gives it that extra high end. And it, again, it kind of just makes it move different, which I really like a lot. And so once those effects were on it, this is what the, that vocal sounded like. Which I liked and that was a totally different texture for that part of the song. This is what it sounded like when I added it to the whole mix. Some of my favorite songs, just from a producer standpoint, are when I listen back over and over and I'm still finding new 
uh, new things, but the core of it is still just a great song by itself. That's why the chords are so, so important. So after that was in there, it was just time to go into the booth and just get after it. You like, don't see it, you can never stop it, that's a promise. Get into offended, watch it, what you say, afraid to speak on heavy topics. Behind a keyboard, leaving sketchy comments, talking nonsense to clear their conscience. That's a constant. Drinking my hands, scotch on the rocks and a Roosevelt.